Welcome to Electron Line. Here's our next problem on nuclear physics on the JE advanced test. Now what I find on these types of problems is that the fact that they're not allowed to use calculators on this test, that makes this a whole lot harder because you have to work everything out using hand arithmetic. But let's see what the problem is all about and let's see if we can do this in three minutes. It says that a freshly prepared sample of a radioisotope of half-life 1,386 seconds has activity of 1,000 disintegrations per second given that the natural log of 2 is equal to 0 0.693, the fraction of the initial number of nuclei expressed in the nearest integer percentage that will decay in the first 80 seconds is. So they're looking for a percentage in integer number format of the original number of active um, radioisotope uh, elements that will decay in the first 80 seconds given that the half-life is 1386 seconds. So for the benefit of learning from this, let's see what that would look like on a graphical representation. So let's say that we start with a certain number of disintegrations, let's call that A sub naught, that's the original activity. We would expect that the activity would decrease like this, and that eventually that you would reach, reach half the activity, A sub naught divided by 2, after a half-life has passed. So on the vertical axis, on the horizontal axis, this would be time, and this would be 1386 seconds. So after 1386 seconds, which is the half-life, the activity would have dropped down to half of its original activity. You can also say that you start with a certain number of radioactive isotopes initially, called that N sub naught, and then you would drop down to only having half that many after one half-life has passed. So now they want to know what the changes, percent of change, after 80 seconds. Now 80 seconds would be somewhere around here. So this would be 80 seconds. And notice that we're looking for a number here, A sub naught, and of course whatever that is, we subtract that from that and the difference in percentage would be what we're looking for. Now if we draw a straight line, notice that the rate of disintegration doesn't come down as a straight line, it's not a linear function, it's a logarithmic function. But if it was a straight line, we could simply take a ratio of the time elapsed to the remaining time. So if we take 80 divided by 1386, and of course I'm going to cheat and grab a calculator to do this quickly, so we have 80 divided by 1386, we get 0 0.577, oh, I'm missing a zero there, 0 0.05, 0 0.0577, but notice we also, we want to go to half the original amount, so we have to divide that by two, divide that by two, and so we get 2.9% uh, essentially, 2.9%. So, with other words, what I'm trying to say here is that if we, if this was supposed, if this was decreasing linearly after 80 seconds, you would have decayed 2.9% of your original amount. But since we're decaying non-linearly like this, it goes faster in the beginning, slower at the end, the change would be greater than that. So, I would say that it's at least 4 or 5% or so would be the, the, the correct amount. If I were to guess, I might just put down four or maybe five percent and say that's my best guess at this point. You know that three percent is too close to the linear function that it's at least four and maybe as much as five. So I'd say four or five leaning towards the four if I were to just guess at this point. But let's not guess, let's work it out. So first of all uh, we know that a is equal to a sub naught, and maybe that's a function of time, so let me write it like this. a is a function of time, the activity is a function of time, is equal to the original activity times e to the minus kt, where k is the decay constant. And where that decay constant comes from is as follows. You can say that k is equal to the natural log of 2 divided by the half-life. In this case, that would be 0 0.693 because they were kind enough to give us the natural log of 2, and then the half-life is 1386 seconds. So essentially, A as a function of time, with time is equal to 80 seconds, is equal to the original activity times e to the minus, k now becomes 0 0.693 divided by 1386 and multiply that times 80, 
And that's the problem. You would have to work that out by hand. You would have to work out 80 times 0 0.693 and then divide that by 1386. That'll probably take about a minute or so, but we're going to cheat and do it in a calculator. So 0 0.693 times 80 divided by 1386, and we get 0 0.04. Uh, so that means that a, when time is equal to 80, is equal to a sub naught e to the minus 0 0.04. Now, again, you don't have a calculator. How do you figure that out? How do you work that out? Well, there's actually a trick you can use if you know the trick. What we can say is that e to the 0, well, that's equal to 1. Hmm. How about e to the negative 0.01. Well, that's equal to 0.99. And then e to the minus 0.02, well, that's equal to 0.98. And e to the minus 0.03, well, that's equal to 0.97. And e to the minus 0.04 is equal to 0.96. Now, after a while, that's no longer the case. That's going to diverge because we know that e to the minus 1 that's going to be equal to 1 over e, which is equal to 1 over 2.718 uh, and so forth. So that means that this begins to diverge, but not initially. For the small exponents like that, we can make that as a pretty good approximation, which means that a, as t is equal to 80 seconds, is equal to a sub naught times e to the, oh, no, we're going to get rid of the e, e to the minus 0.04 is equal to 0.96. So in other words, after 80 seconds, we're down to 96% of the original activity, or we're down to 96% of the original number of radioisotopes, which means that uh, we lost 1 minus 0.96, or 0.04, or 4% of the original amount. And so the answer is 4, because we're looking for an integer number of percentage points of the original amount that we have lost. If we're down to 96%, we've lost 4%, and that's the answer they're looking for. And notice, we kind of guessed that by doing a quick approximation using this triangle, saying that if we go along the triangle after 80 seconds, we will have lost 2.9%, so at least 3 would be not big enough. I'd guess 4, maybe 5, and 4 ended up being the correct answer. So if you're desperate for time and you don't want to go through all this, or you don't remember this and you'll have a calculator to work it out, you can always quickly go, well, I can guess for this. I'll call it 4 and hope for the best. And that is how it's done. <laughs> That would be tough without a calculator.